Hey everybody, today we received a long awaited package straight from Kamchatka. We open it. Inside we see bottles of ice and Kamchatka crab. It was difficult to get it because we got it whole. It weighs about four kilograms. Let's open her up. When folded up, it's not that big. If you straighten his little legs, you can immediately see that this is a monster that was taken from the bottom of the ocean. There are many types of crabs, but there's usually not much to eat in them. And there's a lot of meat in this one. Therefore, it is considered the most expensive in the world. Our crab costs $220. It's already boiled. We need to get the meat out of it. We tear off the shell. We tear off the gills. And begin to unscrew the legs. We do this carefully because the spikes are pretty sharp. We pull out the remaining pieces of meat from the shell and we get a whole mountain of crab legs. They need to be broken at the joints. This should be done with each of its legs. Now we take one leg, cut it lengthwise with scissors, and take out a nice, whole, real crab stick. We throw the meat into the bowl. After about 20 minutes, we got all the meat from the crab. Now, there are $220 in this bowl. In this form, we can finally eat the crab. It tastes kind of like crawfish, only twice as saturated, and the meat is juicier. Let's cook three completely different crab dishes. First up, Crab's Benedict. We'll need pieces of crab, broken into fibers, all transferred into a bowl. We take a small green onion, cut it into circles, and put it with the crab. Put a grater on top and zest a lemon into this. Cut the lemon in half and squeeze out some juice. Olive oil and chili pepper. A little salt. Now mix it up and our filling is ready. We put a saucepan with water on the stove. Let's salt the water, pour in two tablespoons of vinegar, Break the egg into a cup. When the water starts to boil, we quickly stir it in a circle with a whisk to make a whirlpool. In the middle, in one movement, pour in the egg. Cook that for 20 seconds. We take this out with a slotted spoon and put it onto a paper towel. Now we're going to need two of those poached eggs. Now let's make a hollandaise sauce. To do this, we separate the egg yolk from the egg whites. only need the yolk, or rather four yolks. We put them onto a steam bath and mix quickly. After 15 seconds, we remove it. Pour in a little vinegar and oil in a thin, thin stream and mix. Gradually, this mass thickens. It remains to add salt and pour it into a saucepan. We put the grill pan back on the stove and fry two of these buns on both sides until crisp. We put the buns on a plate, put the crab meat with dressing on top of them, level it, then our poached eggs. Now pour hollandaise sauce on top. And finally, you need to sprinkle all this with paprika. Our crab benedict is ready. We cut into the egg, and the yolk breaks as needed. Let's try it. Ah, oh, it's 
It's fucking delicious. Crispy toast, runny yolk, hollandaise sauce, and crab. A real royal breakfast. Next up, tom yum. All right, the ingredients we need are crab, scallops, and shrimp. Coconut milk, tom yum paste, fish bouillon granules, fish sauce, oyster sauce, and cherry tomatoes. We open the bonito konzashi, pour the granules into the pan. Pour in two liters of boiling water and mix that so that the granules dissolve. This will give us a nice fish broth. Turn on the stove, bring the broth to a boil, and open the coconut milk. Although it looks more like a paste, we put all this into the pot. and to mix it up. Now our soup has turned white. So add fish sauce, a tablespoon of oyster sauce, and most importantly, tom yam paste. This contains all the Thai spices we need. We throw in a couple of spoons to the soup. Mix it up. Now for the seafood. Scallops, peeled shrimp, and Kamchatka crab. Cut the cherry tomatoes in half and drop those into the soup. We'll mix this for the last time and the crab tom yum is ready. We collect it into a ladle and fill our bowl up. Finally chop the greens and sprinkle them on top. Let's taste test it. Ooh, this is one of the most intense soups I've ever eaten. Such a powerful, spicy soup with lots of seafood. For the third course, whole crab legs are needed. We cut these into pieces, which will be convenient to eat. Throw those into a bowl and top those with a couple of tablespoons of plain flour. Cover this with a flat plate and shake well. Open it up. All the pieces should be evenly covered with flour. Now let's put a frying pan on to heat. Pour in quite a lot of oil. And put in our pieces to fry. Fry them on both sides to form a crispy crust. Remove the pan from the stove and drop the pieces into a deep bowl. Now let's open the oyster sauce. We'll pour that on top, cover with a plate, and shake again. That's it, done. You can serve the crab pieces on a plate. This is a super sweet and sour crab. You can sprinkle it with green onions. And now, it's definitely ready. Let's taste it. This is a very elite snack, and it clearly tastes like it. Inside, we have juicy crab, a crust of flour, and a thin layer of oyster glaze on it. In general, I'm pretty delighted with this crab cake. Of all of the sea creatures like him that I've tried, whether it's lobster, or shrimp, or crayfish, Kamchatka crab is definitely the most delicious. All right, guys, if you want me to cook some unusual inhabitant of the ocean, then like this video. And as soon as we get 300,000 likes, we'll do just that. And if we get 500,000 likes, then we'll have a very large ocean dweller. Everything is in your hands. Write us in the comments, what do you think I'm planning to cook? See you guys soon.